Well, now I get a different deal. I'm gonna try to use this barrel. It's in pretty good shape. I've got my uh, lines marked here where I need to need to cut it. I'm gonna screw the screw the bands down. I could probably do without the end bands. Now I'm going to do all the bands. I'm just going to screw them down and uh, drill holes in them and then I can cut this thing so it should be able to fit. My other barrel over there, I'm going to we'll just check it out a little bit. Uh, maybe I can use that for a seat. It's, it's nice and solid. The glue hardened up good. Now this time, I'm putting a mess of screws in. sink that so that it'll be flush like this screw otherwise it'll stick up a little like this one here I don't know if you can see but that's just in the hole and this one here is countersunk so hopefully it'll look a little better uh, but these on the end I'm just doing this to hold it because that end plate's got to come off to cut it and of course, once we got the holes drilled, I'll just run them some screws down in there. These are nice gold ones. They cost a little more, but I didn't really want the black ones. Hopefully these won't rust as bad or anything. I about took about every other board. I think this should be sufficient to Oop, snap that one off. Sufficient to hold it down. So when I cut it, it doesn't fly apart so bad. I don't know how I'll glue it. I might not have to. But uh, that's all I'm doing is just to run on some screws down in here. Take some time, but at least I'll have one piece now. That's all done. Next thing to use my cutoff tool and cut these bands. My uh, the mark for the bottom is right in here someplace, but I'm going to keep this one piece. So I'm going to cut these just above it. Cut it above where the saw is going to hit. I just keep going 
like that till I get them all cut. Well, it came apart pretty good even with the stuff screwed in and uh, my barrel actually separated from the from this piece here. So I'm going to drill a couple more holes in here and try to screw that down. I should have I didn't realize that at the time that I put this together but I'm just going to put a couple in each end to try to go into this end piece and uh, hold the barrel in somewhat of a circular pattern and uh, hopefully that will be able to keep it together while I try to work on it. Well, that looks much better than the pile of wood I had before. Uh, this time I took all the spare boards I had on it. I laid them out in the right sequence. I only put one screw in the end of these, uh, which is holding them in pretty good. My other little screws look like they didn't uh, they didn't make it down into the into the wood. I really wasn't thinking about that. Uh, I'm going to leave them in. I'll cut the ends off so I don't have sharp pieces sticking out. But then I'll have to run another set of big screws into this into this piece here. But uh, at any rate, I can at least cut my. Uh, cut my end pieces the way I want them to be cut now and be able to mark them perfectly square and everything and make them the same and then I'll do the same deal I'll screw them onto this piece here and then put my barrel part in it and I think if I glue it real good all along the edge I may take these ends apart too. We'll see how strong they are when I cut them apart. But, uh, so anyway, looks like it's going to be a much better deal than I had before. At least it'll all look good and be smooth. I don't know what the outside of that barrel looks like, but it should be pretty good. It's still screwed in tight here. It opened up a little bit, but at least all them screws would keep that in pretty tight. Oh, well, this next thing is cut up my end pieces, see what happens. Well, this time, of course, I made sure my back and front were right and everything was square. It's a good thing because where I'd marked it before, it wasn't even square. So now I just cut these. Something looks like I got a little crooked, so I'll clean that up. 